location here for the Rivals 100 Five Star Challenge. I'm Amanda Busick, joined by John Ledbetter out of Georgia. We have a Bama commit. How did they get you out of Georgia? Uh, I mean, I took a visit up there first time uh, with one of my teammates. He's going there as well. And I just fell in love with the whole entire school, the campus, the coaches, the players, and uh, just the way they do things up there. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and committed on the spot. So you were telling me that you were uh, down in Tuscaloosa mm -hmm. last week. What did you experience uh, this weekend? Um, well, they had a camp for a bunch of high school kids. Um, I kind of just went as a commit to kind of spend some time at the school and you know talk to the coaches. I haven't been there in a while, so just decided to make a trip up there. And um, I did some one-on-ones, did a little bit of you know kind of a workout type thing uh, the first day, and then I kind of relaxed after that. And um, they do something called Bama ball. It's like seven on seven. It's like speed ball kind of. And um, just did that, had some fun, you know, just got to bond with the kind of other commits there and then a lot of other recruits that are thinking about going there. So it was just a fun time for, for everything. So. You were telling me that uh, you're really close with Coach Smart. Yeah. Tell me about that relationship a little more. Uh, I mean, well, he's, a, he's definitely a character. He's a really good guy. Um, every time I come up there, he's definitely welcoming and he has a lot of hospitality towards me. Um, He's just a great guy. He's really funny. I mean, he, he likes to crack jokes. I mean, every time I come up there, it's like I get a new joke and he's always laughing. I mean, I walk through by his office and he'll always call me in there and we'll have like a 30, 40 minute conversation and just about random stuff, like not even about football, just about life and how I'm doing, and how he's doing, how things are going. So you are going to uh, sneak around to a couple more programs this year. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned that you're going to head off to the West Coast. Yeah, that's definitely uh, the plan. That's definitely the plan. What are you looking forward to on those trips? Um, I mean, well, education is really important to me, so definitely I'm going to see Stanford, uh, number one, and then um, USC, and I'm supposed to be going to see, to see Cal with uh, my friend Russell, Russell Uday. And um, just to kind of go out there and experience it, you know, it's different from where I'm at now, like in the South, you know, definitely a whole different place, a different mindset. So um, definitely go check it out. It's something I want to do. So the Game of Thrones finale is uh, next weekend. Uh, who's your favorite character? Um, my favorite character would definitely be Arya, the little girl. Yeah, that's my favorite character. She's a boss. She is I a mean, boss. A I boss. would agree with that. Yeah. So I, we talked briefly, but you were as equally excited when Joffrey was poisoned. I hated him so bad. Like it, he's a terrible person. He's just a terrible person. I mean, there's no reason he should have been king in the first place. And I, when he died, like as soon as he started dying, I just got excited. You know, I was just like, it's bad, but I mean, it's true. He's he's the worst character probably in the whole entire show. I think for Game of Thrones fans and nation, I think we all we all speak the same yeah, language on Joffrey. Agrees, yeah. <laughs> all right, John. We look forward to uh, seeing you in 2015. Mm -hmm. Best of luck and uh, safe travels to you. Thank you. All right, on location here in Baltimore for the Rivals 100 Five Star Challenge. I'm Amanda Busick, joined by John Ledbetter.